welcome back to Press Magic. Today we're doing a tutorial for uh, one-handed cuts. So let's get into the tutorials. All right, so before we get into the tutorials, I just want to say that I already shot uh, these tutorials outside where I did the little trailer thing, but it was so windy and my hands were mostly out of frame for most of the tutorial that it was just, it just wasn't a good tutorial. So I am redoing it now so that uh, I can do the one hand catch justice. So the first one that uh, you're gonna learn is the Charlier cut like this. And uh, it's a really cool cut that is uh, very fun to just do over and over again. So let's get into the hand movements. And actually I'm gonna stand up for this as well. Also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a jacket inside, it's because I was wearing a jacket outside. I just thought, I don't wear it right here. So, the, you're gonna hold your deck in an elevated straddle grip like this, in the fingertips, not on the hand right here. And you're gonna put pressure with your thumb on the top half of the deck, and then these cards will just fall into your hand. You just wanna let them fall right into your hand right here. Then you're gonna use your index right here. You're gonna push this deck up, gliding across the bottom of this, up until it contacts your thumb, and then release this packet with your thumb right here so that it's balancing on your fingernail right here of the index. And then lower your index and use your thumb to push that uh, deck on top. Full speed, looks like that. Slow motion. like that. Again, elevated straddle grip, drop about half the deck, use your index, push it up as it glides, leave it resting like this, and then do that, just like that. This is probably the easiest of the three cuts, and I'm the most comfortable with, the, with this cut, the Charlier cut. The next one-handed cut is the scissor cut, and uh, you saw what that looked like in the little trailer. Um, and let's get into the tutorial. So, uh, same hand grip, you're gonna be in this elevated straddle grip like this. And then you're gonna use your thumb and contact the bottom, close to the middle of the pack right here. See that? And contact the bottom and swivel it off with your thumb and your index right here. And it's just going to swivel, and then you're gonna use these fingers to move this deck out and like pop it out almost, and just keep stretching as far as your hands can go until this corner clears that, and then bring it back in just like this, and then square it up. Let's see if I can do a full view. Like I said, I'm not the best at this one, but, you're gonna use your, you're gonna be in an elevated straddle grip, use your thumb, contact the bottom of this, and make sure it's as square as possible, and just pivot off of this index finger, and pull out, get it so that it clears this packet, and then it falls back into place just like this. So, when you're here and it's cleared, you want to have that corner under this one, and then you're just gonna swivel back around until it's square just like this. And then you end clean. Uh, this will take a little bit of practice to get the uh, dexterity in your hands just right and to be able to do it fast. Uh, my suggestion when you're starting out is uh, try it with like half the deck because that's actually a lot easier, just like that. Still did it that. So once you do, once you practice this a lot, it should, it should look uh, pretty good and you can use it for a lot of cardistry cuts uh, adding on in the future. The next one handed cut is called the uh, revolution cut or rev cut for short. And you're gonna be in the same exact grip as before. And you're gonna start out exactly like the Charlier where half the packet Falls and maybe have less cards. Have less cards. Have like about 
a third maybe when you're starting out on the top, just like Charlet. But then instead of using your index and pulling up, you're actually going to scoot your index down so that it's more in the center. And your thumb and index should be about parallel on this top packet. Then you're gonna use your ring finger, you use your ring finger right here and push up on this packet until it reaches right here. So you're gonna swivel this packet and then this is basically your fingering right here. I'll get a little bit closer for that. So again, you're gonna drop these cards and then you're gonna move your index right here so that's parallel. Use your ring finger, push up, and use your thumb to push it that way so that your index can reach. Put your middle finger on the top and then you have these three fingers supporting this packet right here and your thumb taken away. And then your thumb is kind of gonna push on this packet as these fingers are twirling and then it's going to close up the same way as the Charlier once it's clear just like that. So do the Charlier opener and then I'm gonna swivel like this and uh, trust me while you're practicing this you probably will drop cards. No you definitely will if you've never done this before. And then you're going to drop it right there and try and get it as square as possible. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave a link below on a uh, rev cut uh, troubleshooting video made by Rise Magic. Definitely go check them out, but I'm going to leave a video in the description, and that really helped me with my uh, rev cut. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, this is kind of a basis for uh, many car streamers. In the future, I know my cut crested, which if you haven't checked it out already, you definitely should. Uh, uses the Charlier cut a lot. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.